Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the open world boss, the Turkey Tear. This is just an event coming to New World that a lot of us do want to try once or twice just to get those exclusive skins at the very least. So you'll see here the Turkey Lawns Tear is down in Everfall for us right now, and we'll show all the different locations, all the different rewards here in just a minute, but I do want to show you guys what the fight looks like itself before we get started. So the fight's going to be very, very basic. I will say if you have low gear score, maybe go something more ranged based just so that you're not going to die constantly. Maybe there's not very good healers on your server or in your group. I just X'd up in the uh, X'd up in the recruitment chat and typed in X space Turkey, got an instant invite. We ran straight down to the Turkey location. Like I said, the Turkey location is dependent every single time it'll respawn in a different spot most likely and we'll show you those spawns in just a minute as well but as we get down there you can see that it's pretty close to the october halloween event if you played it this is going to be the same situation where you just want to continue to damage the turkey as much as possible before everybody else kills it because you want credit for it i don't know how much damage you have to do to get credit exactly but i do know that uh, this goes very very quickly so you have to be right on top of the turkey because a lot of people are doing it right now and they're killing it very very quickly so there's really no mechanics needed for this you're just going to sit back throw damage at the turkey and eventually you're going to get a reward for killing it in this case i believe uh let's see what we get here in just a minute as it drops throw in a couple more ice spikes or not even ice spikes i think we threw an ice storm there but we got the turkey line juicy calf box and i think only one per or you only get this once you know you can't get multiple of these because it is a skin it looks like a legendary piece and you're all excited, but it is just a skin and we'll show you what that skin looks like here in just a minute. But you also get this massive turkey leg. It's actually going to be used in making a roasted monstrous turkey uh, meal, really. And it's, you know, it's not bad. We'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute as well. Uh, but I want to show you what the skin looks like before we jump into the locations, the rewards and everything like that. So I do have the feet skin on right now. It's going to be hard to kind of see it, but basically it's like a bird bird feet for the most part. It's an exclusive skin. You're going to want it if you want to try to collect all of those exclusive free skins. So let's jump into the Turkey Lawn Feathered Avenger of Death. He's level 66, of course, and he has a bunch of different spawn locations. You can see here two in Brightwood, a couple in Everfall, Monarchs Bluffs, Windsward, Cutlass Keys, First Light, and we even have some Restless Shore and Morningdale. I'll have this link, by the way, in the description of the video if you want to take a look at the possible drops a little bit deeper into it and then also the locations that he can spawn, I'll have the link there as well. So first off, the Massive Turkey Leg is one of the drops we got. It's a leg of monstrous, murderous turkey. Its deliciousness has surely been amplified by its size and the rage of the bird it came from. Use this to cook a roasted, monstrous turkey dinner. So that's interesting, right? So let's take a look at, uh, at what this actually is. So if we actually cook this turkey dinner, it's going to increase constitution by 33% and luck by 5% for 40 minutes. That's a pretty intense piece of uh, a piece of meat there. You know, you can actually see the market price too, which is kind of interesting. It's not going for too much because there's going to be so many different people actually getting these right now. But I do assume, you know, maybe six months from now, this will be selling for a lot more. So definitely keep hold of some of these yourself. See if this is something you want to stack up and maybe you know, continue to use in the future. Let's go back though and take a look at more of the rewards. So we also got the juicy calves box, which is basically a skin and you can only get one of these drops and you'll apply it to your character. And now you have that skin permanently. Very, very cool as well. Next up, we have feast o plenty food trophy. So this is something a lot of you guys may want to get if you're a chef or, you know, a cook in the game grants 25% food buff time when you eat beneficial food which, by the way, doesn't mean that you only get that beneficial buff when you are, like, let's say you're armoring, right? And you use your food buff to help you get, you know, 600 gear score pieces or weaponsmith, same thing. This is going to help you a lot because you're going to be able to get a lot more crafts before you have to re-eat your food. So it's not going to be just a chef thing. You know, chefs are going to use it for uh, different buffs as well, depending on what they're doing. But this is a thing for many different players across the board, whether you're an armorer smith, you're a weaponsmith, you're maybe somebody just using... Um, you got to remember, this is actually pretty good for people just using regular food as well. Like constitution buff food now will last 25% longer. It's a lot of benefit and you should probably get at least three of these food trophies if you don't want to miss out. Um, so this is pretty cool. And I want to go back actually, and I think it actually said right there, you can only get one item every 31 days. So maybe you can only get one at the most that might make more sense you can only get one of these trophies possibly don't know if that's confirmed or not but uh that's that's what i'm hearing 
Oh, this guy, look at this. My results for anyone wondering. This is kind of interesting. So kill one through five, you got turkey legs. Kill six through 12, you got no drop. 13, he got the calf skin. So I got pretty lucky on the skin. 14, he got the egg seat. 15, 16, no drop. And 17, he finally got that food trophy. With three major luck trophies, all plus luck gear. Did not know if it mattered, so equipped anyway. Very cool. Thanks for the information. I am Gaming Dad. Appreciate it, man. Um, very, very interesting to see that uh, I got really lucky with that first kill is what it sounds like. So the turkey egg seat, what is this one? Well, this one is one of Turkey Line's giant eggs. They usually explode, but this one was a dud. But if you were to sit on it long enough, would it hatch? It's basically a drop for your house, and it's uh, something a lot of people that are collecting stuff for their houses will want. Same with this one, turkeyless disgruntled fowl. This one is another housing item that people may want. Um, pretty cool. And we have, last but not least, poultry, of course. Poultry is something that will drop quite a bit from this boss as well. So those are all the drops. These are all the drop locations, or sorry, the spawn locations. And that's going to be the quick guide on the tur turkey lawn or the turkey event going on in New World. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. If you guys didn't know, we also stream every Saturday, uh, Thursday, and Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys hopefully all in the next stream or the next video. Thanks again.